Portable Document Format or PDF is an electronic document format developed by Adobe Systems in 1992. Whether you download a printable form or application or you create a document to share with other people, most likely it will be a PDF. PDF files are primarily designed for viewing, not editing. Luckily, we also have PDF editing apps and that's the subject of today's video. If you visit our website, software section, PDF editors category, I will leave a link in description. You will find dozens and dozens of apps. I did a little homework and set aside 10 potentially best programs and now we are going to examine them. All basic operations with document contents are available in PDF element, including text editing and adding attachments. Users can insert text, images, pages from another PDF, combine two or more files, or split documents into separate files, add notes and comments. PDF element offers free and paid editions. The Pro version can recognize text from scanned PDF files, and it can do it from 25 languages. By the way, the app works on Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS. Just choose a proper installation file. And also it combines all essential PDF related features into a single app, meaning PDF reader, editor and converter. It can import or export MS Word, Excel and PowerPoint files, as well as images, TXT and even HTML files. In terms of editing, PDF Element offers two modes to choose from. Paragraph, which applies edits to all text on the page, and Line, where each line of text can have different options. Text editing includes options such as font, size, hyperlinks, spacing, page background, headers, as well as adding a watermark, which is not just a picture, but is also editable. So overall, a powerful and effective PDF editing program with many options. All features are available in the free edition. However, you will get a vendor watermark on all documents. One of the other benefits is protection tools. Password to access a file, digital signature and content copying protection. The price is 80 US dollars and the 6 months plan is also offered for 50 dollars. Previously known as Foxit Phantom PDF editor and since recently just Foxit is primarily targeting enterprise customers, yet suitable for individual users as well. The basic version is available for such desktop and mobile platforms as Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. It can also be deployed as a cloud application for team collaboration in a secure environment. However, the biggest set of features is assigned to the Pro version for Windows. Foxit supports creation and editing of standard PDF files. It is light on PC resources and it won't be a problem to edit several PDFs simultaneously. Two modes, reading and editing, toolbar components can be managed too or hidden to free up workspace. For those who work with PDF files on a regular basis, there are automation features, for example spell check, template page numbering. There are also a number of options for simplified import and export of files, in particular PDF file generation from a web page or Microsoft Office applications, that is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. OCR module, the tool that can turn scanned text into editable and reusable text, supports 42 languages, including English, Arabic, Chinese, and others. Other useful tools in Foxit are tools for conversion, compression, and securing files. At first glance, Foxit PDF Editor may seem too expensive. The regular desktop version costs $160.
but this is one-time payment, meaning lifetime limited use. The strong point of Foxit is full control over the contents of PDF files, compatibility with the other services and automation of repetitive tasks. Overall, Foxit is a fine product for companies as it includes cloud storage, team editing features, admin consoles and data encryption tools. Adobe for sure was and is the leader in reading and editing PDF files. Adobe Acrobat DC is their separate PDF editing app for all aspects of documents, modifying document structure, merging multiple files, adding or replacing text and pictures, and so on. Documents can be signed electronically and protected from unauthorized access as well. Great feature is the ability to work with the 3D attachments, which means to embed interactive graphics. Another one is that with the Adobe Acrobat API, users can integrate JavaScript code snippets into documents. This can be used to automate data export or create forms with the automatic submission. One more highlight of Acrobat DC is compatibility with other devices and platforms. It can be integrated with Dropbox, Google Drive, other cloud storages and has a free browser extension for PDF reading. Of course, Adobe is the leader in all PDF related things, but it is also the main object of hate and frustration and the main reason why people start looking for alternative apps in the first place. And yet it is a strong app for PDF editing and is still evolving and improving. By the nature of Adobe systems, it is friendly with files from Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Excel and Word. On the other hand, it is strangely overpriced, I would say. $144 for standard subscription and $180 for Pro. In total, Seda desktop app comprises 35 features for editing and creating PDF files. Special attention is given to manipulating document structure, extract pages into a separate files, or automatically split them by size, text, bookmarks, etc. Seda can also merge files and change page order by moving, duplicating, or deleting pages. Besides OCR, which of course is crucial for any PDF editor, it is worth mentioning the tool for page content compression. It modifies such image parameters as DPI, quality and colors, which allows to significantly reduce total file volume. Also with the SEDA, you can convert documents to other formats, edit metadata and try to recover corrupted files. For content protection, there is only a watermark in SEDA. This program brings out a peculiar distribution policy, thanks to which the software can be used for free for an unlimited period of time, but with certain restrictions. The most noticeable one is that the app can only be used three times per day and the size of imported documents can not exceed 50 megabytes. For the full list of restrictions, please visit SEDA official website. Overall, SEDA PDF Desktop is a top-notch solution for on-the-fly PDF editing. The desktop version is light and not overloaded. There are all the necessary tools for reading and changing document contents. As for pricing, you can select one of two tiers. One week use for 8 bucks and a conventional annual subscription for 63. Both plans, by the way, include SEDA Web, which is an online editor. The first thing to note about Nitro PDF Pro is uh, the Microsoft Office style interface, which always helps and makes it easy to navigate. You can also select visual themes, as well as customize the quick access toolbar. For convenience, in addition to standard hands select and zoom, 
there are a number of advanced tools for page content elements. For example, select and copy text to the clipboard or capture an area for a screenshot. I can even extract media content from documents, which is pictures in almost all cases. I can also use Nitro to add files to documents and create interactive forms. For adding files, the app supports media files, e-signatures, and even functional JavaScript inserts. For forms, there are eight types of fields available, including checkboxes, buttons, and barcodes. In Nitro PDF, you can highlight text, add notes and footnotes to text content, and leave comments about parts of the content. Additionally, you can export separate elements into a new file or print them out. Nitro PDF Reader Pro doesn't have a free version, but offers a 14-day trial for everyone. Well, first of all, I can say that Nitro PDF Editor eliminates the issue of selecting the proper plan for users, as it only has one plan for all. Windows Edition costs 180 as a one-time payment for one device, and Mac OS Edition costs 130. When it comes to usability, Nitro is truly friendly and familiar, and when it comes to functionality, it is basics only. Editing, highlighting, commenting, exporting and so on are present, but nothing extra or unique. PDF Escape provides two great options. An online editor on the website directly and a desktop app for Windows devices. With an online editor, you can create a new PDF document or upload and edit an existing one. By the way, the file size limit is 10 megabytes and 100 pages. PDF Escape provides text formatting, hand drawing, shape, picture editing options. It is also possible to perform basic page editing, rotation, crop and change the document structure, for example, add and remove pages. Also, this editor contains convenient features for creating annotations, scaling tools, and a document's history of changes. All features of PDF Escape can be divided into three main categories, insert, annotate, and page. To be a bit more specific, let's see what options does the insert menu have. Add in text, white out any area, Upload and add an image, add a hyperlink, add form, line, rectangle, circle, arrow, check mark. In annotations, we can highlight the text, underline it, or cross it out. If we go to the desktop application, we see that it offers nice extra options. Direct PDF converter is one of those. Word, PowerPoint, Excel, images, HTML txt, rtf formats, and even batch conversion. PDF protection tools are another benefit. You can add a password, other users must know to access a file, assign access levels, add signatures. Well, PDF Escape surprised me in a good way with its free online editor. In most cases, we all just need to make some small corrections to a PDF file, and this way it is super easy and fast. Besides, any features you might need for text, pages, signatures, shapes, media and so on are there. Desktop app pricing is split in premium $36 annually and ultimate $72 annually. The main advantage of this editor is the powerful optical character recognition, 
as AB is the leader in this area. The OCR module can digitize scans and images, even of low quality, as well as convert them into other formats like doc and excel files. But getting back to the topic of our video, Find Reader can edit the contents of documents or page by page. It can insert images, erase and format. Other tools worth mentioning are Find and Replace, Attachment Management and Signatures. Crop and Rotate feature is available for pages and tables. Documents can be protected from reading or modification by passwords. There is also a system for editing by multiple users, including ability to manage changes and remotely sign documents. Find Reader can be integrated into MS Office and Explorer by request. Not much to say about a Fine Reader, except that it is an on-point PDF reader and editor, suitable both for ordinary users and enterprise customers. Special features are not entirely intuitive, but the main functions for everyday use are simple and do the job well. Single license for Windows users costs $200, while for Mac users it is $129. It is cheaper due to the fact that only editing features are included. New users can get a 7-day trial with a 100-page OCR limit. A straightforward Microsoft Office style editor called Power PDF for creating, editing and converting electronic documents. Previously also known as Nuance Power PDF. Create fillable forms, sign documents digitally, timestamp, redact, manipulate contents, manage permissions for teamwork. It is all incorporated in this app. For general document structure, you would use the tab called Document Assembly, where you can swap pages, duplicate, insert, delete, rotate, split, and even crop pages. The Page Assembly tab is where you would uh, manipulate the contents. Power PDF can also be used to convert to and from such file formats as JPEG, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Having no ability to recognize text from scanned images, the app somewhat loses out to competitors, but all other essential features are present. You can set up passwords, edit forms, fields, tables, add watermarks, send documents for signature to other people and then validate it, add comments and notes, edit file metadata. If you have purchased this app but you are not satisfied with it, a 30-day refund policy would definitely be of benefit. So for $129 you get to use Power PDF forever. It is a simple editor for PDFs and it does what you expect it to do. Otherwise, I would not have included it into this video, right? On the other hand, Kofax is not entirely flawless. Team collaboration on the document in the real time without sending it uh, back and forth is great, but it can only happen within a local network of computers. And for example, remote access from home is not possible. PDF Architect provides different sets of features within different paid plans. So-called create and edit modules are available for all plans as their basis. This implies creating PDF files from Microsoft Office applications, deleting or merging pages within one file, manipulating contents, converting other file formats into PDF. Interface and layout resembles MS Word and it will look and feel familiar to most users. Top panel with tabs like View, Convert, Edit, Comment, Secure, Forms. Additional tools below for zooming in and out, navigation, rotation, text search, highlighting, etc. For features such as text recognition and electronic signature, you will have to purchase the Pro plan. With the OCR feature, users can scan documents, 
turn the contents editable, convert images into PDFs. A very useful aspect is a 14-day trial available for all plans. So, what can I say about PDF Architect? If you are looking for a free PDF editor, it is not an option. It has a free plan, but all you can do with it is uh, create PDFs from Word and move pages around. Editing, commenting, signing, OCR and other vital features will cost you $69 per year for one user. In terms of functionality and efficiency, PDF Architect is quite powerful and flexible and could be a decent alternative to Adobe Acrobat. And the last one we have is probably the most feature-packed program called PDF Exchange Editor. It is basically a wholesome PDF management solution. Users can create, view, edit, annotate and sign PDF files. To start off, you can create a new document from zero or you can also create it from an Excel file, a simple text file, from an image or a scanned file. It is easy to work with and it is fast. In addition to multiple editing tools, Exchange can convert documents to and from PDFs as well as perform text recognition or so-called OCR and its OCR capabilities are impressive. Dozens of languages are supported English, German, French, Dutch, Russian, Polish, Hungarian, Chinese, Finnish, Spanish, etc. Skewed text can be fixed and even tables can be preserved. Okay, as there are too many features in Exchange to go through, let me just list the most crucial ones you may need. So we can redact content, edit text and content, arrange and rearrange items, copy, cut, delete, zoom selected content, create and edit web links, crop or delete document pages, duplicate pages, merge or split pages, resize pages, edit and manipulate images, draw lines for tables, export contents to MS Office formats, spell check documents, split document by size, add watermark, disk scanned pages. It seems that the vendor has tried to jam pack as many features into this editor as possible. There are hundreds of editing tools PDF conversion tools, character recognition, bookmark and annotation tools, fillable forms, watermarks, signatures and much more. The starting price is $46.5 yearly for a single user or $127 for three users. And there is also a free version to download and install. That said, Exchange is a strong contender for the best PDF editing app for sure. So, a couple of final notes from me. In terms of features and capabilities, all these apps are great and have more than enough tools to cover your needs. While Foxit and Exchange go a step ahead by implementing more advanced features. As for pricing, it is somewhat hard to compare because pricing models are different. But if we split it into just two categories, lifetime and annual, we see the following. Among lifetime licenses, Power PDF and PDF Element are the most affordable ones. Both go for $129, while the most expensive one is Abbey Fine Reader, $199. Among annual subscriptions, the average price is $80, with Exchange Editor being the cheapest for $46, and Adobe Acrobat way out of reason with $144. The easiest ones to use, the top three I would say, are PDF Element, Exchange and Adobe Acrobat. Saida and PDF Escape have a nice bonus. 
and online editor on their websites. And on this note, I am going to stop. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment and see you next time.